three-year-old girl was able to somehow get out of her house or the backyard by unlatching a bunch of gates and stuff. And uh, apparently she ran down the street there on Raymar and almost got hit by a car. And another car saw what was going on, stopped and picked her up. And uh, fortunately, they were able to get her out of the road before she got injured or anything. So I guess right after they found her, the parents came running down. They had been looking for her. So it just shows how important it is to make sure that you're either watching your, your kids or, or they're secured enough where they can't get out of a gate because Raymar, especially right now, this time is very busy. So the chances of her getting struck by a car were, were really high. And according to that witness, that almost happened. I guess one of the cars had to slam on their brakes to avoid from hitting her, but it all worked out, so hopefully they learned. Warn a felony warrant needs a parolee at large, and he will fight and he will run. Do you know which one was the most recent we, picture? We took, he's doing dope again, so we don't know which one it is. Where are we going? Um, probably here. Um, he knows more. It's Rio Grande. Yeah, he's Larry the Young. Guy too. Looks familiar. They're all the same, dude. Oh, well, the tats will help. Yeah. We received information uh, right now from an unknown source that uh, a gentleman may be down in an area. We don't even have an address, but this guy has a uh, parole warrant, and supposedly he doesn't want to go back to jail. He's known to run and fight with the police, so we're on our way down right now to a, just a general location. We've got a a cross street uh, intersection area where there's supposed to be a mobile home that the guy might be at. So it's a little, bit of a long shot, but we'll go down and see if we can find him, see if anybody uh, matches the pictures that we have of him. And if we do find him, then we will arrest him. We just got more information that the house is supposed to be on the northwest corner of, uh, I believe, Rio Grande and Riverwood. So we are uh, coming up with our game plan. Three of us are going to approach on foot. Uh, at least one or two other units are going to be in the area in vehicles in case the guy does uh, I run. Be, I got 243 with me. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We're going to come in from the north, um, being that the house is on the northwest corner. Uh, coming in from the north will put us on the side of the street we need to park on and we can park a ways back. That way he can't see us approaching and take off running before we get in a position to even chase after him. I don't see a trailer on the northwest corner. He is here. 224, That our subject is here. Come on out. Have Larry come out, please. Oh, he just said he's inside. No, Larry left. Larry left. He left. He was next We're going to check it, okay? Yes, the baby's in the back. Is anybody else inside? No, just the baby. She's sleeping on that bed in the back. Okay. I'm not doing nothing. Okay. Do you have a weapon on your way? No, sir. Yeah, he may have a need to check him. He may have a warrant. Who's your ID? Uh, it, I might have it on me, I'm not sure. It's just, it, it, if I do have it, it's just my ID itself. There it is. No problem. Oh, you have a warrant for your arrest, Larry. Control? Yes, sir. You got a bag today on <laughs> Who's smoking pot? Huh? Where's the marijuana in there? It's mine. Where is it? I don't have any more. It was just a joint. It was just a joint. I don't have no paraphernalia. I don't have. Child I don't have Are you on probation or parole or anything? Uh, I got it off. Can, can we look in there real quick? You can look. Not a problem. I don't have anything in there. Okay. These kids could sent to search. Okay. Do you have your ID with you, ma'am? Do I need to read you the riot act about that, ma'am? You know how much trouble you can get into having your little baby here with... We just got here. We just got here. Stop, stop, stop. That room that we entered back here is the reeks of marijuana and the baby's in there sleeping. Okay. One phone call to CPS. Right, we understand. Okay, so if there's... Where's the marijuana if you know where it is? Uh, no, we don't. We just... No, we... We have consent? Yes, you give us consent. 
It's worse than that back room, ma'am. Quite honestly, if I were you, I'd get the baby out of there. It stinks back there. Well, I'm just gonna take Ten, four, man. Okay. Hey, let's go. Hey! It's his, uh... It's his corpse. Two, three, five, one, two. Copy a second. They should already have him on the... Hey! Last of Young, first of Larry. We received information that the uh, guy who lives at this house here has a felony warrant for his arrest. Uh, we were able to kind of narrow the location down, find out that this was the house. Uh, actually, another subject had a, a misdemeanor warrant for his arrest, was out in the front yard. Uh, we knew he had a warrant. He identified himself as the subject with the warrant. So uh, we placed him under arrest, and he said the other guy, which I believe is his brother, was inside. Uh, he actually wasn't. Two females were inside. Um, they allowed us to check the area for, for the guy with the warrant. And uh, when we went inside the house, we got a real strong odor of marijuana in there. Uh, one of the guys admitted that he had been smoking marijuana before we got here. And uh, his brother showed up, the one that had the felony warrant, and he was taken into custody without any incident. And uh, two people were placed under arrest. We collected a little bit of, of marijuana, and uh, they'll be booked into jail tonight. She did what, sir? She showed back up. Oh, she did? She panicked and took off. Where's she at right now? She went to get her car. She parked down by Safeway. Okay. She just Actually, yeah. sir, this is a traffic officer who's going to be helping you with your report. I just happened to be driving by and saw you, okay. saw you waving. All right. So she is back, though. Yeah, she, she just went to get her car. Hi. Did you guys witness this? Or? Yes, that was right behind him with my car. I was just right behind. If you want my statement real quick, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm on my way out. I needed to go to the DMV. Why don't you give me your driver's license so I can get your information real quick, sir? Sure, no problem. Like I said, I was just a witness. Uh, she was driving, I think, like a purple small car. And uh, we stormed out of the car. Like, I guess they got into an altercation or something, a discussion. Him and his girlfriend, or him and this guy? Him and his girlfriend, the ones in with the missing car right now. Okay. So uh, he takes off. He takes off like he's pissed off or something. And I don't know. She wasn't looking, I guess. And she puts the car in reverse. Uh, so she was ahead of him. Yeah. And backed up into him. Backed up into it. And that's the right front fender that's damaged right now. I'm like, I'm damn lucky that I wasn't the one behind her. Because right. oh my God, look at my car. Is this a correct address for you, sir? That is my current address, sir. Yeah, why don't we step over here so we don't get run over? You'll see the damage. Hey, Kaz, that's suspect vehicle right there. Now I couldn't, I couldn't see the person that drove the car. And she was in front, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's her. That's her. Yeah. Okay, let me just make sure I have this all correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she's. In the lead there on Georgia Lane with her blinker to go left on 95. Right. The white blazer's behind her, you're behind the blazer. Boyfriend gets out, she backs up, hits the white blazer, yells at her, she takes off that way on 95. Mm -hmm. She comes walking back with the child, argues with the boyfriend a little bit. She leaves, leaves the child here, mm -hmm. comes back with the car right now. It, let me just, exactly. Let me, exactly, that's it. Okay, let me double check with the traffic guy real quick and I'll see if I can just get you guys out of here, all right? Appreciate it, thank you. Thanks for staying. Has. I've got the witness statement. He says he's got somewhere to be. You good That's with all me? I need. Okay, I got I got his as statement. You got a name, an address, and a phone. I got what he. I'll write it. What he told me. And this is okay. Officer Kaz. Okay, this is a real good one. She gets mad at her boyfriend, throws it in reverse without looking, backs into him, causing minor damage. She takes off and she comes back. She has no driver's license. The registration belongs to a Hispanic that was signed on 14 of 08, and she has no insurance. So she's in a lot of trouble. 
I've got a writer for uh, unsafe backing, leaving the scene of an accident, attended vehicle, uh, no driver's license, and no insurance, and her vehicle will be impounded by th for 30 days by state law. Is that her father went and bought this car for her. It was signed off by a one four of 08, so it's never been re-registered. And once it goes into the 30-day uh, inbound, only one squares can get it out of the tow yard. So she's in, won't be able to get her car out at all. And that is why you should register your cars when you buy them. That's right. <laughs>